is dying. Bet you're going to tell me. Good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. And another thing that makes a comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield, and he's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. The former Gamecock here, this is Mike Davis. And they'll get him down up past the 15. Trying to find some gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. So that last play gives him a little more space now. Here's first and 10 at the 16-yard line. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That's complete right side to Gabriel. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. They'll try to run for it with Cohen. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. So how position is running back? I really feel like we're evolving into something else because they have to be such a hybrid, don't they? Guys who can run it, but they love to have those guys with hands like a wide receiver. The first down run, not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Flacco from the gun. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 15 yards on the play, first down. And on this challenge, the refs have to take a peek and see whether or not the receiver is able to play. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Again on the play. Dad, like it is. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you... And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Phillip Lindsay with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Broncos push further out in front. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, Sutherland's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. And they will not get a chance to wreck. The Bears offense led by Mitch Trubisky heading back out there. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader. Making sure that you're playing well 
and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you judge how big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Now it's Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Trubisky now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. First down, a run with Cohen. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Throwing on second and 14. Trubisky, Von Miller in there for the sack, and it's an important one from a personal standpoint as that is sack number 100 in what has certainly been a terrific career to this point. Down it's Trubisky. Open man is Trey Burton. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. One thing I... I think it's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Trubisky will throw. And that is incomplete. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Broncos are going to get the football back in great field position. But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it, and eh, it didn't work out. They must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play, and they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores, they must have felt like they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, Flacco. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Under four to play now. Clock running. Third down. Here's Flacco. He's got a man. It's Sutton. That's complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves... They do have a little grip to them, they? get a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. They'll go again with Lindsey. Eddie Jackson with a tackle. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers do go to his production, but how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his number as a ball carrier. They've got the number of the offensive line and the other guys because they're getting to him before he can get started. Now it's Flacco. He's got Freeman here. It's complete. He taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. So it's 
Bronco That's football as we get your reset here. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. Passing play, Flacco. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Bears will get the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing Charles to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now Trubisky. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. You can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And it'll be third and ten. And that is incomplete. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. They're going on fourth down. It's Trubisky. He's got his tight end, Burton. They keep the game. Alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Trubisky. Connecting with Burton here over the middle. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Throw him now is Trubisky. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Now you can almost feel Trubisky saying, let's get to the line and hurry up. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And now lead as well. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Broncos will take over on downs. Whoa, Flacco's going to throw. He'll let this thing go for Sanders. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. Second and ten now from the 27. Pressure mounting. Flacco. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little letting you out, a little extra on top. The extra point up and good, but this one was decided anyway, as that will be the final action in this ball game. So this one will wind up a Denver victory. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. 
Well, what we saw here was off.